All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to week five of the Pokemon Winter League. I am, my name is Levi T, and I'm the coach of the Pittsburgh Steelixes. Now, today, we are on a very bit of a losing streak. We are 0-4, but I'm, I'm looking to turn that around. But our luck has not been very good so far. But you know what? I'm, I'm willing to believe that we can switch it around. But we are going up against Thorazak and the Chicago Cubones. Really cool dude. I like this guy. But before we get into my little speech thing, I just want to give a shout out to someone who helped me build this team a lot. Um, his name is Sly. I don't think he has a YouTube channel. So I, I, I'd love to give you a shout out. But you don't have one. But if you do have one, um, just leave a link in my comments and I'll pin it. And go subscribe to him if, do, if he does. If not, say thanks, Sly, in the comments for helping me with the team. We did five different test battles with the team, with changing a whole bunch of things on my team, and I think the team I built is the best I could this far. So thanks for helping him, but his team is pretty scary. I'm not really scared of anything on a team except Kiram Black. Kiram Black terrifies me because I don't really have anything to hit it. But thankfully, Choice Banded Mock Punch Hitmonchan. You Oko, that little bugger. Um, but I feel like this should be an interesting battle. Me and Thor are on the same skill level, if not very similar. Um, so this one should be intense. Gonna try and break my losing streak. If not, oh well. We have the ABL to look forward to. But yeah, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna stop you guys waiting and stop keeping Thor waiting. Without further ado, I'm gonna get right into this battle. So hope you guys enjoy. See you on the flip side. Okay, so here we are. We are in the battle. Let me wish him good luck. Have fun. Uh, let me just do this quick. Okay, there we go. Okay, so he brought the exact team I prepped for, but he brought Espeon, which I'm actually very surprised to see because I did not think he were bringing Espeon. Let me just jot down his team real quick here. I got my, my pen and paper ready to go. So he has Kieran Black. Kieran B. Skarmory. Whimsicott. Cut. Um, Alolan Marowak. Who that was gonna come to? Uh, Galvantula and Espeon. Really surprised to see um, Espeon. I did not think he would bring it, so I'm kind of curious to see what he's gonna do with it. But I do have Ash Greninja, which kind of checks it. So let me write down my team quick. Hitmonchan. Shaman. Mega Man. Ambipom, Ash Ninja, and Zygarde. So, the team I brought, um, we are bringing Choice, Spend, and Hitmonchan, Scarfed, Shaman, Mega Manectric, uh, Banded, Ambipom, and uh, Life Orb, Ash Ninja, and we are bringing Coil, Physically Defensive, Zygarde. So, possibly, as I can see with them, I can see him leading with Skarmory right away and trying to set up on me. Um, my team isn't really weak to sticky webs that much with Galvantula, so that's not a big problem. Um, but Hitmonchan does put on a lot of pressure, but bringing Espeon, he knew about that. He must have knew that Hitmonchan was a problem for him, so he brought Espeon just for that. That that would be my guess. Um, leading with Mega Manetric and just Volt Switching out looks pretty good. Mega Manetric actually puts on a lot of pressure to its team. So I think I just want to do that. If he leads with Galvantula, I can just click Overheat. So yeah, I think I'm going to lead with Mega Manectric. Worst case scenario, he leads with uh, Whimsicott, but that's really fine. I can just switch into um, Shaman, which kind of walls that thing. So yeah, he's going to lead with the Galvantula, like I suspected. Um, I'm going to be scouting. I'm going to be taking a lot more time this battle and scouting, pay, trying to pay attention to the battle more. And try and guess what's going on so I don't miss anything and miss items. Because I, I want to try and turn this around. So, he's very much likely just going to click um, Sticky Webs here. So, I don't really see a problem with not clicking Overheat. Overheat hits his team everything. Even it hits, I'm even fine doing that with a little Marox. So, I'm, I'm literally just going to click Overheat. I don't, over, I don't really see a problem not clicking this. Um, but like I said, Sticky Webs, they didn't, they weren't really a problem for me, so I'm not really worried about him getting them up. So he's actually going to switch on the Kieran Black here, so I'm going to be fine getting some damage on this thing. And maybe see what item he's going to be. So we click Overheat at those. That looks like Assault Vest damage, if I say so myself. That looks like Assault Vest damage. I'm going to calc that. So, 
or Mega Manectric. Um, Mega Manectric. Kieran Black. Let's slap a Salt Vest on there. He didn't bring the Mian Shot too, which I'm very happy not to see that. So let me put Overheat instead of Flamethrower. Overheat. So Overheat. It's a Forco. He might be max special defense as well. It's still a Forco. So I'm. Was he leftovers? Okay, he was leftovers. So he ate that a lot better than I thought. I wasn't sure if I saw leftover recovery, but I just wanted to double check. That's that's a good sign for me because that means I'm double checking. Um, but one of the biggest problems on this thing is I don't really have any switch-ins to this thing. So, I'm in a bit of a pickle here. Overheat, I don't know. Why did that do so little damage? He's leftovers. He must be like... Max, max special defense. Probably. I'm just gonna volt switch out. So now the question is, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? The thing that sucks about this team is I kind of have to sack things off in order to kill this thing. Because as you can tell, I don't really have anything to hit this thing. So with that knowledge. Ampibomb is the most useless member, so I'm tempted to go into that. I could just go into a floor right now. I mean, he has no reason not to click Ice Beam. I'm just going to go into Ampibomb. If Ampibomb dies, so be it. So be it. He's going to click Toxic here, actually. So that's very interesting, actually. Hmm. I'm going to click Knock Off in case Alola Marowak wants to come in. Um, do I do that or just go for damage? Well, Skarmory might come in. I'm, I'm fine knocking that thing's item off, so I'm just going to click knock off, really. So he's going to bring in the Alola Marowak. That's going to do a heck of a lot of damage, and he was Thick Club. So, like I thought, I'm just going to click knock off again, really, if it kills. Sweet. So he was, um, no item now. So either we'll knock off another Pokemon's item or we're going to kill this thing. Which is really nice because a little Marowak, it can be some troublesome for me. So he's going to send a Skarmory. We're going to knock off this thing's leftovers. Okay, so let me write that down. He has no item now. No item. Um, I can pretty freely go into Zygarde here because I wall anything he wants to go for. I'm going to keep Ampipom around for um, fodder against Kieran Black. I could click Fire Punch here, but I'm, I think, like I said, I want to keep Ampipom around for fodder. So, I don't really see any problems going into Zygarde here. I could start setting up Coil. Yeah, I'm gonna go into Zygarde. So Zygarde comes in. He's gonna Roost up, so, like I thought. Um, I'm just honestly gonna click Coil here. Or do I just click Thousand Arrows for damage? Because if we are plus one, how much does an E-Speed do to... Kieran Black? Plus one. HP does a Forco. So even then, Himachan comes in in Oko. So I, I'm just going to click Thousand Arrows for damage, really. How much does that do to him? Thousand Arrows, Tuko. So that's really nice. So I'm just going to click it, really. If it brings in Galvantra, we're going to break the Sash. And that's going to do around... I don't know. He's going to get his rocks up. I don't really care about that. Um, Do I set up... Do I start setting up now? Yeah, I'm going to start setting up. He withdraws into this thing. Um, I don't really care if Zygarde goes down here because Zygarde is kind of just here to set up, possibly. Um, how much does an E-Speed do to this thing at plus one? That's my question. Whimsicott. We'll say he's Tom Pass support. Extreme Speed 2 goes at this range. And Moonblast, I think I can live one. I got my spread. Yeah, I live a Moonblast, so I might kill this thing here. I'll click E-Speed. He's defensive, that's for sure. That is defensive. Whimsicott. I click E-Speed again. I'm fine getting damage on this thing. 
He's got to click Leech Seed here. So, I'm just getting residual damage on this thing, which I really don't care about. I'm fine doing that. So, he's going to withdraw. Good play by him. Um, but I'm plus, def I'm plus one defense. So, I kind of want to stay in here and just sit E speed. Till we eat the thousand arrows. If he swords dance, that's fine. Ambi Pound comes in and kills him. He's gonna sub. I'm gonna thousand arrows now. If Encore doesn't end. Okay, it ends. So I just click thousand arrows here. Thousand arrows. Uh, this should break the sub. Okay, so what do you go for? Flare Blitz, we live that, and I just click Thousand Arrows again. That looks like the best option here. Like, Thousand Arrows hits his entire team. If he brings in Galvantula, we're going to break the Sash. Um, <clears throat> Zygarde is putting on a lot of pressure right now, which is really nice because he doesn't want to send in Kieran Black and risking taking in a Thousand Arrows at plus one, which I can follow up with an E Speed and do a lot of damage to that thing. <clears throat> so yeah so we know all of his Pokemon's items except Galvantula, Whimsica, and Espeon but Galvantula is probably just um that so we're gonna kill Alola Marowak which is really nice cross that thing off and there we go Zygarde that's one kill for Zygarde and now what he has to do is he has to either bring in something which i'm fine getting damage on anything really uh, i don't i think i'm citrus berry no i'm just leftovers okay so bulky zyra proving to be pretty w useful here especially against his alola marowak um so yeah i'm gonna mute spectators because these guys are annoying uh where is it where is it where is it, where is it? ignore spectators okay there we go those are gone. Okay, so now... I don't know what he would do here, honestly, because Zygar puts on so much pressure on his team, which is really nice. He could be Specs Espeon, which will do a lot of damage to me, so he's just going to do this. Um, I'm just going to sack off Zygarde here. I'm going to click E-Speed, break the Sash. HP Ice, yeah, like I thought. So, Zygarde goes down. Um... We bring in Ash Greninja now. That's, that could be a free kill for us. Actually, mm, I'm going to bring in Ambipomp. Do we do it? Do we bring in? I'm going to bring in Ash Greninja. So potentially we can get a. Um, No, I'm not going to do that because we didn't see an item from this thing. And I don't want to fear Scarf. So do I go in the Hitmonchan? I want to calc how much a hit much, um, how much and mock punch from this rain dodge to Galvantula, because if that's the case, I'm just gonna go into that and kill him. Um, Aloha, let's go to Galvantula. He's at 32% health. I'm pretty sure. Galvantula. Let me just double check. We didn't see an item, so it could be Scarf. He's at 32%. So let's say he's at 100. At that range, mock punch. Doesn't Oko. But I think we live anything he wants to go for. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna bring in Hitmonchan. Actually, no, no, I'm gonna click Rapid Spin. Do I do that? Or do I just go for damage? If anything, I think he's gonna wanna keep Galvantra alive just for. Oh god. Yeah, I'm gonna click Rapid Spin because I feel like he's gonna switch out into. Uh, or he's, I think he wants to keep Galvantula alive for uh, Jitsu by Ash Greninja. So I'm going to click Rapid Spin. I don't think he'll stay in. If he doesn't, I think I live anything he wants to go for. Let me just double check. Uh, Bug Buzz. 3 Co, Thunder, 2 Co. So he has to, he'd, he'd have to click Thunder. But let's just double check if he's Scarf. Where's Toy Scarf? Find it. Choice Scarf, Thunder, Tuco's, Bug Buzz, Forco. Okay. 
So we have to click Thunder. I'm going to click Rapid Spin. There we go. So huge plan on my part. We get rid of the rocks. He's probably honestly just going to set them up again, but I'm just going to bring in Mega Manectric. Yeah, I'm just going to bring in Mega Manectric. That's the safest play, really. He's going to Brave Bird. We eat that. So, um, how much does the Thunderbolt do to Whimsicott? Because I don't actually... I don't think Whimsicott's a switch in because the factor of me potentially clicking Overheat. So, I think I just click Thunderbolt anyway on this Kieran Black. Or does... No, 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 Electric. So I want to see if Thunderbolt or Overheat will do more. Probably Overheat. I'm being honest because Overheat is just neutral now because of the Ice Typing. Overheat... Two goes, Thunderbolt, four goes. So yeah, overheat stronger. I'm just gonna click overheat. He brings in this thing, and we're gonna do some damage on him. And I just volt switch out. I just volt switch out, and we send an Amipom for fodder. Yeah, that's what I have to do. That's a critical hit, which is nice. I send an Amipom, and he just roosts up. Okay, so. Honestly, just gonna click knock off again, really. Knock off this thing's items. He might just stand and kill me this turn, yeah. I should have probably clicked low kick. Maybe he'll miss. He's gonna click substitute, actually, so I'm gonna click low kick now and break it sub. I don't think this thing gets any setup options. I know it doesn't get dragon dance. It's really nice to know. So he's gonna roost up. And we die, but that's okay. I bring in Hitmonchan. Let me crush off Ambipom. Zygarde's also dead. I bring in Hitmonchan, which threatens him out. I'm just going to click Drain Punch because it Tuco Skarmory. He's not going to stay in because this threatens him way too much. I mean, Drain Punch does a heck of a lot of damage to Skarmory as well. Which is really nice. I think I'm playing pretty well right now. Um, like I said, I'm just letting Pokemon die because I'm forced to sack Pokemon off because of this thing of how threatening it is, and I don't really have any Pokemon to take hits from it. I had Quagsire on the squad before, but it just wasn't doing much anything in the battle, so he switches out. This might actually kill. No, it's not actually. I'm pretty sure we live a Moonblast. Whimsicott. I'm pretty sure we live a Moonblast. Yeah, Moonblast 3 goes, so I'm just gonna click it. He's gonna switch a room. He's gonna make a lagging tail. Whether it goes down. That's interesting. Now, that might actually might have been a huge play for him because now I'm not sure if we'll be able to kill Kieran Black. How much does Mach Punch do with no item? I don't even know what lagging tail does. Let me find that out. What does lagging tail do? I don't know what that does. Holder moves last, it's priority moves last, and it's priority break. I don't know what that does. New question. But, oh well. I want to find out how much. Um, he brings an Espeon here. Aloha. Um, versus Kieran Black. Next wall breaker, we have Lagging Tail. Where is that at? I can tell. There it is. So, Mach Punch, three Ko's now. Drain Punch, two Ko's. So, that's actually very scary. That might have gave him the win there. Um, what can, what does Espeon do? What can Espeon touch Ash Greninja with? Dazzling Gleam. Is that Okomi? I don't know. Eh, he might be Specs. So I'm not going to risk it. I'm not going to risk it. Uh, I just bring in Shaman, really. Psy Shock, okay. So, the hit, uh, what's it called? I think that Skarmory might come in, so I think I'm just gonna send in Mega Manectric. Yeah, I'm gonna send in Mega Manectric. To predict the Skarmory to come in. Because Skarmory walls this thing. I have hidden Power Fire on Shaman, but I feel like if we just go in the Mega Manectric, it'll give us so much momentum. Which is really nice.
So we go into that. And there we go. So great prediction on my part. I'm going to full switch out because I definitely feel like Kieran Black is just going to hard switch in. Yeah, I'm going to do that. There we go. Just full switch out. But now the question is... I just go in the Hitmonchan again. I think... And I just Drain Punch, really. Yeah, I just Drain Punch. <clears throat> Good thing about this is Mega Manectric scares out Skarmory every time because he's not going to risk it. Switches out into this thing. This should do. Nah, it's not gonna do as much now because I'm. I lost my thing. Um, does a braver kill us? No, we just go in the Mega Manectric. Do the safe lane. Go in the Mega Manectric. Don't risk it. Don't risk it. Not worth it. He roosts up. I'm just gonna click overheat and get damage on Kieran Black. Or do I just volt switch again? I think I have to volt switch because I don't really have anything to. I don't really have anything that like maybe I just click over over because I think Shaman is my us useless member now. So yeah, I'm just gonna click over. Galvanchel comes in, so we're gonna kill that thing. There we go. So actually, good plan his part for uh, lowering my special attack right away. <clears throat> This is so, um, I'm terrified. Kieran Black can easily come back and win him the game, though. That's what I'm terrified of. We need to get Battle Bond on Ash Greninja in order to help kill that thing. I mean, Galvantula, Galvantula going down is very good now for, for Ash Greninja. Because I could potentially bring it in against Skarm, click Hydro Pump, get my Battle Bomb boost. Or get in Ash Greninja safely against Espeon and click Dark Pulse, which are hit a lot of things hard. So yeah, this thing comes in. I have to just sack off Shaman here, which is unfortunate. So I just click Volt Switch. Just click Volt Switch. I need to keep Mega Manectric um, alive so I can scare out Skarmory. I just go in the U. And he's going to click Toxic here, actually, which is really nice. I'm going to click Seed Flare, or actually Dazzling Gleam. Ooh. So, yeah, we die to that. We go in the Hitmonchan. Drain Punch. Just Drain Punch away. Oh, this is such nerve-wracking. I hope, I hope I got my, my three golden boys alive. Ash Ninja, Mega Manectric, Hitmonchan. He's going to roost up. It does a heck of a lot of damage, so he's either going to be have to force the switch here, or actually, I can click Mock Punch here. No, I, do I? I'm going to click Mock Punch. Ah, I should have. Should've, 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 could've, would've clicked Drain Punch. The good thing about having our Choice Band knocked off, though, is that... Now the question... Now we're in a bit of a pickle. I have no switch into this thing. How much does a Choice Specs Thunderbolt do to this thing? Have we seen item yet? Uh, he's Leftover, so he's gonna be doing a lot less damage. Which is really nice. I just go in the Mega Manectric, I feel like. How much does Espeon do to me? Psyshock. Psyshock, Oko's hit my chain. Manectric. Psyshock, two coats him. 
Does Dazzling Gleam Oko Ash Greninja from this range? It three codes me actually. Oh wait, that that's um that is a uh, Ash Ash Greninja. I mean Mega Manectric. Let's go into Ash Greninja. We're regular Greninja. Dazzling Gleam two codes me. So we live that. But do we risk him to go for Calm Mind? Dark Pulse Oko's right back. I'm gonna do it. I'm making the risky play and going in. This might have been a game changer. This might have been a game changer. I click Dark Pulse. Okay, we gotta switch out. No. What do we do? I think we just have to sack off Ash Gren or Greninja here. I know it can come back and revenge kill, but I don't think I'm going to get my Battle Bond off. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? I don't want to risk him going for Roost again, though. That's the other problem. Um, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? I can't sack off Mega Manetra because if that Skarmory wins in the game, how much does a Thunderbolt even do to Espeon? Because if it's like a two car or something, I'm just going to sack off Ash Greninja here. Thunderbolt 2 goes Espeon, so I'm honestly just going to sack off Crash Greninja. Or regular Greninja, I should say. Can we flinch? Oh, shit. If we crit here, or flinch, that's it. That's game. Ah. Yeah, he's just going to stall me out. I just got to click Dark Pulse again, get as much damage on this thing as possible. He's probably going to kill me here. No, he's, yeah, he's, he's doing the smart play. Do I predict him to go for Roost now? I just Dark Pulse again. Come on, Greninja. Substitute. Okay. He might have just won there. He's gonna roost here, I'm pretty sure. That might that might be GG. Yeah, he roosts. We break this thing. I just drain punch. That might be GG. Must make him an extra can pull some strats. So he's gonna bring in Skarmory. That does no damage. I just bring in Mega Manectric. Clicks his rocks. I don't really care. Do I click overheat or thunderbolt? I just click overheat. It does that. I volt switch out. Critical hit again. I hope he roosts here or something because then he's going to be forced to switch. Toxic. I click drain punch. Skarmory comes in. I'm pretty sure he's going to Roost here. So I'm going to click Drain Punch again. Yeah, he clicks Roost. I Drain Punch. He's going to be forced to Roost again. Or will he predict me and just go into... Now do the safe play, go in the Mega Manectric. He bravered, so this thing's either dead now. I have to click overheat. So Skarmory might go down here. Uh 
Oh, I'm so nervous right now. This is such an intense battle. Props to Thor for giving me a battle. Oh, this is going to be a long one, I know it. Yeah, he's, he's contemplating. It's, uh, Kieran Black might actually be dead here. This might, this might have been, this could possibly be the win here. He's going to either have to sack off Skarmory or Kieran Black's going to be dead. Do big damage on Espeon. I'm so nervous right now. I forgot to write down my kills. Pfft. Um, but I don't even remember. Zygar killed Little Marowak. Mega Man killed... Uh, Galvantula. Did it? I don't remember what killed Whimsicott. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Overheat. That thing goes down. Skarmory. It's another kill for Mega Man. I was originally not going to bring Skarmory. I mean, Mega Man metric because it didn't really hit his team that hard. But it's putting on a lot of pressure right now. Okay, so he has to roost here. So do I click Overheat again? Yeah, just click overheat again. He's, he has to click roost. Yeah, it does no damage. No, I should have. I should have hard. I should have hard hit Monchan because now he can kill me here. Oh, I should have hard hit Monchan. I think I just choked. No. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This is interesting. Do I just hard Mega Manectric? Do I just hard Mega Manectric here? Is the question. I think I do it because Mega Manectric is not really necessary to have now because Skarmory's gone. So I think I just hard Manectric. If we had a choice band, this would have been so much easier. I think we might die here because rocks are going to probably kill us. Psy Shock, yeah, that kills us. That might be GG. Unless we can get like a crit or something. Pretty sure Psy Shock Okos us, so I just clicked Rain Punch. <sighs> GG. I choked again. I freaking choked again. <sighs> Anyways, props to Thor. He gave me a phenomenal battle. He played excellent. So, but I'm going to get the heck out of here. Hope you guys have a beautiful day.